Hey everyone, today I've got a series of charts to walk you through the financial performance of NEO over the past several quarters, focusing on their revenue losses and overall financial health. Let's dive into the details. Firstly, let's examine NEO cash reserves, measured in billions of US dollars. The amount of cash on hand had been declining up until the second quarter of 2023. However, the third and fourth quarters saw a significant boost due to a substantial cash injection from CYVN, bringing the cash reserves to $6.3 billion. This means NEO still holds a considerable amount of cash, so there's no immediate cause for concern. What's particularly noteworthy is the fluctuation in cash burn rates. In Q2 2022, the cash burn stood at $300 million which increased to $900 million, $600 million, and then a whopping $1.1 billion. Following this, there were two quarters with an influx of $1.9 billion each, thanks to the CYVN cash injection. In Q1, there was again a notable cash decrease of $1.8 billion, primarily due to purchasing a factory from JSC. While this transaction reduced cash, it turned the factory into a NEO asset, offsetting the apparent loss. Moving forward, we can anticipate a reduction in cash burn to somewhere between $1.2 billion and $1.5 billion in the upcoming quarters. Next, let's discuss total revenue, which presents an interesting picture. Throughout 2022, NEO saw a steady revenue increase. However, in 2023, the company experienced a downturn due to a product transition from their Gen 1 to Gen 2 models. This transition led to a significant dip in Q2. Fortunately, the successful launch of several models, including the ES6, ET5T, ES8, and EC7 in Q3, resulted in a notable revenue spike. Although revenue dipped again thereafter, it was before new incentives took effect. With record deliveries expected, Q2 2024 is projected to bring record-breaking revenues. It's important to note that revenue alone isn't the sole indicator of financial health. Vehicle margins are equally crucial. Despite high sales volumes, low vehicle margins can still result in losses. In 2022, NEO boasted healthy margins of 18% and 16% from their Gen 1 products. However, margins began to drop with the launch of the ET5 and ES7 in Q4 2022, primarily due to the high costs of the Orin X chips. Margins continued to decline, hitting 9.2% in Q1 2024. For profitability, NEO needs to aim for at least 15%, ideally 20%. Enhancing vehicle margins is expected with the introduction of Onvo and the NT 3.0 products, which feature more in-house developments. Moving on to net losses, the figures are quite striking. Initially, NEO losses were around $281 million per quarter, but these losses have ballooned significantly, with no quarter showing less than $500 million in losses recently. The key driver behind these mounting losses is substantial investment in research and development R&D. In Q4 2022, for instance, NEO invested $577 million in R&D, correlating with a net loss of $838.9 million. This heavy R&D spending has been directed towards NT 2.0 products, new model launches, and brand development, including Onvo and Firefly, while high R&D expenses are expected as NEO continues to innovate. There is a hope that future spending will be more controlled, ideally around $400 million per quarter. Sales, general, and administrative SG and a expenses have also seen notable fluctuations. In Q3 and Q4 2023, these expenses surged, driven by expectations of increased sales. When sales didn't meet these expectations, NEO responded by reducing staff in November 2023 which slightly decreased SG and a costs. Despite the cuts, high SG and a expenses persisted due to ongoing marketing efforts, sales events, and significant bonuses for sales representatives. As the company moves forward, it will be crucial to manage these expenses effectively. While NEO faces challenges, there are positive signs. 
they have a solid cash reserve and are expected to see higher revenues with new model deliveries. The key areas to watch will be vehicle margins and R&D spending. Effective management of these factors will be critical for NEO financial stability and growth. Keep an eye on how NEO navigates these aspects in the upcoming quarters. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing and see you in the next video.